Europe is sleeping on a giant yet largely unused source of renewable energy, geothermal energy. The huge amount of natural heat coming from earth formation and radioactive decay is lying in the ground below European citizens' feet. A part of this natural heat, namely enhanced geothermal system, is a new approach which generates great hopes. It allows a widespread use of the enormous untapped geothermal energy potential with a much larger geographical distribution than conventional geothermal energy. The EGS approach exploits the heat trapped in any geological setting with several configurations for rock composition, tectonic setting and stress field. To develop EGS in Europe, Meats Consortium gathers wide expertise and know-how from 16 partners, 8 industrials, 2 applied research institutes and 6 universities from 5 different European countries. The main objectives of the project are to gather knowledge of EGS heat and power production in various geological settings, to increase heat production from existing plants and to convert oil wells into geothermal wells, to enhance heat to power conversion at low temperatures, 60 to 90 degrees Celsius, by using smart mobile organic Rankine cycle units, to replicate the technology by promoting the penetration EGS power and or heat plant. We are on a petroleum site with all producing wells. We are located one hour southwest of Bordeaux. The site is called Les Bains. Les Bains is the name of the reservoir that lies three kilometers below our feet. And this reservoir is part of a huge sedimentary basin that started to form 200 million years ago. We produce a lot of water together with the oil. This field has been on production for a long time, allowing the deep aquifer water to replace the oil in the geological formation. Currently, we produce 20 times more water than we produce oil. And this water is very hot because it is coming from deep. After separation of the oil and water at the separation site, the water is re-injected in such injection wells. Prior to re-injection, we exchange the heat with a heat exchanger. This heat would be otherwise wasted. It is actually carbon free. We are located 300 meters from a high school that is heated with gas. We installed a heat exchanger that is uh, transferring heat from the hot brine on the injection line to the heating system of the high school. Thanks to that, we expect to save a thousand tons of CO2 per year by switching from gas to geothermal energy. Our partners helped us to simulate the thermal behavior of the geological reservoir. They also provided the tools and methodology to evaluate potential conversion when the oil production terminates 20 years from now. Thermal impact at the production well 
that could reduce the plant's lifetime. Results of our models show that this thermal impact is limited to the vicinity of the reflection line over 30 years of exploitation. Finally, it is necessary to ensure that there is no additional micro seismicity associated to this colder reinjection that would have negative environment, environmental impact. There are different possibilities to valorize the thermal energy extracted. It could be transformed into electricity by means of a small mobile OLC unit able to produce electricity at very low temperature. We are currently testing this technology on site with a pilot unit behind me for four months. The district heating for the Göttingen campus is currently supplied by a natural gas-based combined heat and power station, which is owned and run by the university. The district heating system services around 250 buildings with about 30,000 students. So we have an existing heat consumption infrastructure ready to integrate a deep geothermal energy system to help to decarbonize the campus. Nottingham is not within the type of area traditionally considered to have high geothermal potential. There is currently little information known about the geology of the target rocks, which consists of complexly folded and thrusted metamorphic rocks. Such a geothermal target has not previously been exploited for geothermal energy. There is therefore need for new concepts and design for the implementation of an enhanced geothermal system. This design uses parameters derived from economic analysis also undertaken by me. The first step is the geological characterization of the target rocks. These rocks are at a depth of 3,000 to 5,000 meters and are not exposed at the surface at Kettingen. So we need to go to the Western Harz Mountains, about 40 kilometers away from here, where such rocks occur at the surface. Based on the results gained from the field, we develop a 3D model for the rocks, folds and fractures. Simple modeling of stresses and fluid pressures help us to understand how fractures develop in such rocks. These fractures being important for heat exchange between the rocks and geothermal fluid. As the last step, we set up reservoir models to learn about the productivity and lifespan of the reservoir. Research or exploration, well, is the absolute basic prerequisite to understand the geology beneath Cottingham. Although the high cost of a such well is a barrier to developing geothermal resources, investing in geothermal exploration is vital in reducing our dependency on fossil fuels. Meat will make it possible to enlarge the market for geothermal electricity and heat production since 70% of the EU surface could potentially perform geothermal exploitation. It will lower the carbon footprint by 100 million tonnes of CO2 per year. The knowledge generated and technologies developed through MEAT in various geological contexts and industrial settings can be replicated at a European scale. Finally, MEAT will facilitate the diversification of oil industry activities worldwide through the co-production and reconversion of thousands of active and mature oil wells throughout Europe. <laughs>